the Wolf Pack. Them boys balled out, man. This is the Minnesota Timberwolves' second finals or second conference finals appearance in franchise history. And the last time they've been to the Western Conference Finals was 20 years ago. That was in 2004, led by Kevin Garnett. This was a great game here, man, in Game 7. I couldn't have asked for a better game, man. It was said way beforehand. Anthony Edwards, he talked about it, and he said, best Game 7 in history. This was before the game he mentioned this. He said, it's going to be the best Game 7 in history. And this is definitely one of them, because this was great, man. And I, and I got to start from a defensive perspective here, because... That's what we seen. The Denver Nuggets were up 20 points at one point, and they got walked down by the Minnesota Timberwolves. This was an old school type of walk down here. First off, first off, this was an old school type of walk down. This wasn't no Golden State Warriors come back in two minutes by shooting a bunch of threes, and now they're back in the game. Now, this was a walk down where you needed to play defense. You had to take it possession by possession. You had to use your defense to create easy offense, and that's exactly what the Minnesota Timberwolves did as they closed the gap. They were down 20 the third quarter was like that key piece, man. And it was crazy because the Wolves, they went on a 29-3 to run and, and started the fourth quarter down one. To start halftime, I think like uh, they were down 27 or uh, 17 right at halftime. And then as soon as the game started, Jamal Murray had another three. It shook up the crowd. Everybody went ballistic. And, you know, not, there you go. Minnesota Timberwolves was down 20. But they started walking them down, bro. They played defense. They really just locked in on defense, man, because the third quarter was completely different than anything we've seen in that first half. Jamal Murray, he went off in the first half, 24 points in the first half, but then he was held to 11 points that second half. I think it was five points in the third quarter. Michael Porter Jr., bro, was just non-existent in the second half of this game. He only had three points the entire second half. It was really just Nikola Jokic. He was the main one working. And he was the main problem that the Timberwolves were struggling with because no matter what they threw at this man, he continued to score and carry his team, even though they got hawked down. The Wolves at one point had to triple team Nikola Jokic just to even kind of stay in the game and keep him from scoring. But that wasn't even enough. And like, it's only so much Nikola Jokic can do when nobody else is making shots on his team. They shot five for 19 in the third quarter from the field and then one for 10 from the three-point line in the, in the third quarter? Like, come on, man. It was the perfect opportunity for the Timberwolves to come back and strike as they did. And it started with good defense leading to easy offense. And everybody knows the elephant in the room here is that Anthony Edwards, he had himself a rough game, especially starting out. Denver, they brought out some double teams. They just brought a lot of focus on Anthony Edwards, kind of making sure that he wasn't going to be the key piece and the key reason why the Timberwolves were going to win this game, which was a great game plan. However, I don't think the, Tim the uh, Denver Nuggets counted on the fact that everybody else was going to step up the way they did because Carl Anthony Towns, he was huge. He was huge in this game. Um, he Man, he put on a show. He really kept his team afloat. Uh, in and out of these runs that they had to, to come back into the game. And Anthony Edwards, even though he wasn't really making shots and he was getting double team and stuff, the thing I loved is that he stayed aggressive. He kept shooting the ball. Like, he created opportunities for others. And most of all, the man played defense when he wasn't getting it going on the offensive end. That was probably the biggest thing that helped the Minnesota Timberwolves come back and end up winning because even though he couldn't score... He could still find people open looks. He was still getting Jaden McDaniels open looks, getting Carl Anthony Towns open looks. Like, it was a huge help. And, man, you know, eventually it worked out in the final moments of the game because, you know, the people who were carrying McDaniels and Carl Anthony Towns and even Mike Conley, he, he did his thing too. You know, it worked out because by the time the game got to the, the final moments, Anthony Edwards finally was able to, to make the shot and, and get the ball in the hoop. So it, it was dope, man. And, you know, Timberwolves don't win this game without Car Anthony Towns. He was guarding Jokic the whole time, turned around and played the offensive end as well. Like, so it, it was dope, man. And it's a reason 
that the Timberwolves had that number one defense. They really, really showed it tonight why they had that number one defense. But this was a high emotional game, man. So, you know, the post post game interviews was, was crazy. <laughs> the, the people at the press, man, it was crazy. So, look, we're going to start here. Here's Nuggets coach Mike Malone after losing game seven via NBA. How hard is it just to absorb a loss like this after after going ahead by 20? Next question, man. The season's over. That's what's hard. Fuck being up 20. The season's over. You don't understand that. The season's over. It's hard. Stupid ass questions. And here's Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns after the big win via NBA. This is for either one of you guys. It, and usually in NBA history, it says you have to lose and lose big before you win. What is it about this team that says we lost got, last year? Yeah, but that, that, that's different. You have to lose at a bigger stage. Usually, teams usually. It's the playoffs. We lost last year. <laughs> we lost the last two years. <laughs> God damn. How much more we got to lose? Yeah, how much you want us to lose? We've been losing for 20 years. <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth, dog. God damn. 